So welcome ladies and gentlemen, uh, we are back already with some more PES 2019 gameplay. I know I said I was going to be gone for a couple of weeks or wait there till a few weeks have passed before I put more gameplay out, but we've got some pretty good quality. Uh, it's not 60 FPS because they can capture it that way, but it's still 1080p, it's crisp, it's clean. And, uh, yeah, it looks a hell of a lot better than some of the videos we've seen out there. So it was the boys at Pez Universe who got a chance in Spain to go and play the game itself. It was the same build as the E3 one. So don't expect any changes in gameplay. But it's on manual passing. So we've taken off the pass support. And we're going to see how the lads do with no assist. Now, I've tried manual before, you know, PES 2018, 17, and it's difficult. You know, if you've tried it, it is difficult. It's more of a challenge. You've got to get every pass pretty spot on. The pace and the power of it has to be good as well. The direction has to be there. And it's just more of a thinking game. You know, you've got to focus for the full 90 minutes as opposed to playing on pass support, one, two, three, etc. You can get away with it because the ball will just go in the direction that you're aiming. Uh, but we do see a couple of goals, so a couple of chances. And there was a misplaced pass early on there. But I think it was Fazio, but it's going to happen, you know, when you do play on manual. But yeah, we are should hopefully have uh, a better build to come very, very soon. Konami have got a couple of things in the works. And I think the next month is going to... That's a good effort there. Oh, that was off the line. Oh, blimey, 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 boys. That was a, a bit of... <laughs> A mix-up at the back, but Ramiro did well. I certainly hope Argentina play better here than they have been playing in the World Cup. They've been a, a real disappointment, to be honest. Although I haven't really fancied the manager or the coach is not been making the right decisions. But anyway, that's up to him. But yeah, well, hopefully in the next month or so we're going to see a lot more stuff. A lot more, uh, more gameplay, better gameplay, more refined, polished. Maybe my club as well. But I have to say, when you do play on manual, and you play against the AI, the AI tend to sort of... They, they play the same way as you do, and I don't know if anyone's noticed that, but they won't do ticker, ticker, ticker all the time. They will make mistakes. Uh, it's still, you know, they will punish you, of course. But ultimately, you play on manual, you're going you're gonna to get the CPU playing a little bit more like a human, more human error. Um, so... Hey, when I get the demo, I'll certainly probably try out a couple of things and, and see how it plays. I'm still liking the pace of it. Nice pace, not too fast, not too slow. If you want to play counter-attacking football, the option, of course, is there. If you don't and you want to play more possession and build the play up, you can do that as well. So let's just uh, let's dive into the gameplay here as France try to, to swing this round. A little nip there by Lionel Messi. He's meant to be, obviously, very precise and... Dynamic, you get the ball with Messi, you want to run at defenders, cause some problems. He's got very good centre of gravity, good on his feet, wicked left peg. And a good challenge there by Otamendi. And now let's see what Argentina can do with it. Laid it up the line. Dibana has a lot of space here, he's miles offside. But the Lino let that one go. Well played. We know that fouling is still a bit of an issue for the computer I don't know why I really don't know why Kami have never fixed it yeah, that's a nice little move here give and go trying to get in behind all risky managed to get it away but yeah I don't know why Kami having a hard time of just you know, making the AI commit more fouls like that right there a foul like that against the AI would be great from behind it happens I mean the amount of fouls you see in the World Cup and yes it does get ridiculous to the point that players are diving all over this shop and basically want to use VAR now constantly to get a decision but still put some sort of uh, some sort of decent fouling system in the game uh, we saw a couple of screens came up as well on Twitter about injury and, and players getting injured so I'm really hoping that's more of a, a predominant role this year in Master League players getting injured I don't mind having three four five players injured at a time as long as a little bit of rotation can be used which is just never needed in PES 2018 you could pretty much play the same team anyway here's Anton Griezmann chance to lay it out wide he went down there that is a foul chance for the quick one decided uh, against it oh, but he's taking it quickly and then Kante with an absolutely horrendous touch but 
France managed to get it back. You can see players shielding the ball a lot better, holding it up well. See the bit with a chance to deliver. It's a good looking pass. Gabali gets it down. Benega, it's Perotti. Just tried to play that with the outside of the boot, but uh, France tidying up nicely. 37 minutes gone. It looks like these are sort of 10 minute matches, which is sort of more accustomed to seeing. I'm sure the demo will be a 10 minute game with about six or seven different teams. Remember that demo is probably going to be out at the beginning of August. So not too long to go, just over a month and you'll be able to get your hands on PES 2019. And it's always difficult to go back to 18 after you've played the new edition. Now, if you want to check out other gameplay videos, uh, PESUniverse.com and PESUniverse.es, which is the Spanish site, will have all the details. They've played it, they've got their opinions. You want to check them out, go ahead and do so. This is a nice move delivered in Olivier Giroud. Ah! says thank you very much and that was a nicely worked move especially on manual you know not easy to produce some nice interplay got it out wide fizzed it in and a quick look at substitutions there and Ramiro not happy at all defensively a couple of new sort of celebrations with the lads just giving each other high fives really and enjoying the moment but yeah they got this out wide nice give and go and Giroud was calling for it, fizzed in, and we know what the Frenchman can do with his head. He can certainly score. So it's going to be Aguero on for Higuain. A substitution that I thought they should have made in the World Cup matchup against Nigeria earlier. But anyway, a couple of minutes left of this half. It is France that lead. And it, isn't, it, isn't it interesting that this is going to be the... Um, oh, that was unlucky, wasn't it? This is actually going to be the knockout stage matchup. I've just realised that. Argentina will take on France. I'd probably nick France just about because Argentina have not been playing too well. There's Dybala. So we'll get the second half underway. France leading here by a goal to nil. The bearded forward of Giroud. Scoring with his head. Let's have a look at the second half here and see exactly what happens. But, you know, like I said in the first half, liking the pace of it. Manuel's a different kettle of fish. I'd love to play online like this. You know, it really would showcase just how good you are. Here's a great run by Aguero. Fizzed in deflection and out for a corner. One thing I would like to see, and I don't know if Pez have ever had it, is animated ad boards sort of around the field. Good looking boards, come back out. Will there be a chance for the volley? Deflection, another corner. But we just, do you see any animated ad boards on pairs? I don't know if we've seen them before. Obviously, PC wise, you can just mod them in there. But it's the subtle things. So Di Maria to swing this one in. It's an in swinger, it's back post. Away by Griezmann. Perotti, Biglia. Good challenge by Griezmann, and this is a chance if they can get the ball moving. Olivier Giroud, Griezmann down the right-hand side. He does find him. This is where you want to take on your man. You've got Griezmann. Use his pace. Use his quality. He's through on goal, but he just took a little bit too long. And in Man City, boy, Otto Mendy took it away from him. Aguero to Perotti, lovely cut inside a lot of Argentine players flooding themselves forward, Aguero couldn't quite beat Varane this time the game's opened up quite a bit Kante, it's a good challenge Dybala, getting it onto his stronger side, then cutting back on the right foot another good challenge, it's come back to Aguero and he just smashes it wide of the post so we'll see as well fatigue wise, so keep an eye out for that, I haven't really notice too much of it yet but our player is going to start getting a lot more tired as the game draws on we're still only in the 60th minute I'd say probably another 10-15 minutes or so we'll start seeing some tired legs and substitutions could be key that's Di Maria to Biglia flicked inside Fazio towards Lionel Messi haven't seen enough of the Barcelona star. Nice give and go with Di Maria. Opts to deliver that one in. Good looking ball. It's come back towards Messi. And what do we just say? We haven't seen much of him, but he only needs one chance. It's Lionel Messi. 
And he's just absolutely taken down there by Aguero. I think that was a headlock, to be honest. What a finish, though. Right foot. No hesitation. And we're all level. And it all just stemmed from... Uh, a delivery into the box. He's taking it well, isn't he? Right in the corner. I like to see a little bit more movement from the crowd. You know, looking a bit static there. A bit more atmosphere, but either way, great goal. And I will keep an eye out for these tired legs. Would like to see an injury. That would be fantastic, to be honest. Anyway, here's Jedu. Oh, took a heavy touch. Was a little bit indecisive. Benega, it's lost out to Kante, Griezmann, nice little bit of shielding there, and you know as I said we've seen a lot of that, seen a lot of players shielding the ball, I think this year if you have a player that's physically very very strong, certainly sort of a, a target man up top, he could be very useful for you, if you use him the right way, almost like a player to just, just block players off, get it down on the chest and then swing it out wide, that's ultimately what you need, isn't it? A target man, a big, big solid forward, and a couple of pacey wingers, and you could do some damage. Here's Dybala. Chance to hit the stretch of the legs, but it's a good challenge. Manages to win it back again, and then Kante says enough is enough. Here's Lamar. He's taking too long. Flicked over, lost out on City. He was waiting for it, but now he has a chance to pick it up. Lays it inside. Fazio. Griezmann. Oh, nearly, nearly. I think he was looking for the, the reverse flip flat there. It's been a pretty even game. And Argentina look a little bit more of a threat coming forward right now. France are just trying to almost catch him on the break. So looks like we may have another substitution. Dybala's coming off, because you can see he is on red. And it looks like we're going to have a change for both sides. Acuna's on, Dybala's off. Or maybe France are not going to make their change, or he didn't show it. Benega, Otamendi. Starting again with Perotti. Just to lay that up the line and oh, I think he would have been in. Nice little touch, Pogba. If I was Pogba there, I'd just take it, run with it. Anton Griezmann, get it on your left foot and hit it. Trying to go around in a circle, back towards Olivier Giroud. And there's the manual shooting. <laughs> Always difficult. 72 to 77% pass completion, so pretty even. Kante. Pogba. Decides to swing it out wide. It's a nice looking ball. A well played there. Uh, Argentina winning it back, but then losing it again. Lamar looking to play it over the top. Deflected on. Aguero up against his man. And Titi. Varan. Oh, that's a silly place to lose it. Good covering. Fed through the middle, Aguero. He's not quite able to turn, but he does manage to steal it back. And France are just on the ropes here, trying to get rid of it. Perotti delivers near post, but it's far too close to Hugo Lloris. Anyway, uh, ladies and gentlemen, that is uh, all the gameplay for today. Let me know your thoughts. Are you looking forward to PES 2019? And who do you think will win the World Cup? That's the ultimate question. But until next time, subscribe for more and take care.